there's a lot of people disappear in China. You know, as you recall, when Xi Jinping took power, it started at the end of 2012, beginning 2013, and he um, he started, uh, you know, what's called um, anti-corruption or anti-graft campaign. So because of this uh, initiative, uh, millions of the CCP party members has been convicted of briberies or embezzlement or whatever corruption. But also, not only the CCP. Uh, party member, but also those businessmen, particularly there is prominent, you know, social elites, they're disappearing. Uh, either they're jumping off the, the thing and being uh, characterized as a suicide or has depression. You heard Miles Gould saying, but these are uh, very abnormal uh, phenomena. And one of the cases Miles Gould mentioned is the Wang Jian. Uh, Wang Jian is a very important man. A lot of the Western audience is not familiar with this company. He's the head of this company. It's called HNA. If you wanted to understand the kleptocracy, you would need to understand this case. Wang Jian died in 2018. Okay, so and but according to and he died in France. Okay, he died in France and sightseeing. So according to the public report, he died because he took a selfie on a um, on the on the on, on, on he he jumped onto uh, the rail, which in the in the video you saw it was a one point two meters high short wall. So he jumped on the wall and turned around and take a selfie. According to the French report, that he fell accidentally and died. Okay, and Mana School sent five teams, independent teams, with uh, professional former uh, NYPD um, officers or investigators. They did their own investigations. There's no way this Wang Jian is actually fell by accident. It's a murder. So he actually, his investigation team collect a lot of evidence, and not only from the crime scene, but from what's happening prior to that and what's been happening after Wang Jian's death, and also the motivation. You know, Mana School concluded. And because of that, he also held a public press conference on November 20th, 2018, with Mr. Bannon together. They actually have a two hours press conference going through the details for attendees about, you know, about this murder case. But you know what? This is really the world it needs to be waking up. This murder happened in France. However, the first responder, uh, the coroner office, French police, French media, including French government, has been working nonstop to cover this up. Okay, so you have to wonder, okay, so how deep the CCP's tentacle and their influence um, were.